Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one we're going to be showing you how to set up automatically repeating invoices as well as automatically sending invoices. And the beauty of this function is that if you have a whole bunch of invoices that go out on a regular basis, it might be a regular monthly invoice for some kind of retainer or support fee or whatever it may be. And if it's often for the same amount, then you can automate that. So you don't have to go in and create every single invoice manually one by one. That takes a lot of time. And then you don't have to go in and manually send each invoice one by one. We're going to automate the whole process. All right, so let's jump into it. So the first thing we do is go to the sales register and then we go enter sales. So now we have to set up the sale for the first time. I'm using my test customer here. You can type anything you want in the description. So we're setting this up just like any other sale. And let's say it's $200 or 220 a month, which means 200 plus 20 GST. Now, if you were going to record this like a normal sale, you'd hit record, but instead at this step now, we're going to go save as recurring. And then it comes through to this next screen. So we have to set the schedule so we can say how often we want to send it. This is a monthly invoice and we want to start sending it on the 1st of December. So it's going to be created on the 1st of each month. We want to continue indefinitely or you can continue until a certain date in the future or you can perform or create the invoice a certain number of times before it stops. We're going to keep this going indefinitely and you can always come in and switch it off when it's no longer applicable. Now for the alerts, we can say, do we get a reminder to recall this transaction? So you can say never on its due date or number of days in advance, a reminder to come in and set it up. Or do we automatically recall this transaction and then notify the administrator or any other user? So this way we're gonna set it up so it automatically records the transaction and you'll notify the administrator when it's due being the the first of each month for the transaction use the next sequential number as the invoice number so that just means if your last invoice was 1001 then the next one will be 1002 so that makes sense and then we have the option down here to save changes when you record the transaction so if you change the amount of the payment future payments will use the new amount so we'll do that and we'll click OK so now what's going to happen is on the first of each month, this invoice here is going to be created automatically. The system is going to record it and then it's going to send us an alert saying it has been recorded. We won't have to do anything. Now that's the first part of it. So we've got the automatic recording of invoices. Now we want to set up the automatic sending of invoices. So to do that, we have to go into setup, preferences, and then we go into the sales tab and we want to say click this here automatically email sales when they are recorded invoices orders and quotes and we'll go OK so for this to work of course you're going to have to have your customers email set up in the card file so let's go have a look at that Selling details, we'll change invoice delivery to to be emailed. And then back in the main screen, the profile tab, we enter that email in here. And then now, so when the first of the month comes along, each month we'll have this recurring invoice go out to our test supplier here. This one here that we've created. And then it's going to automatically record it in Myob send us a notification and at the same time or just after the invoice has been automatically created it's going to automatically send it off to our customer so if you had a large amount of customers say they were like 50 or 100 customers whatever it might be 
all on monthly recurring invoices. This is going to save you so much time. That's why it's a really nice tool. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you learned something here. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in our description. If you want to check out more of my old videos, have a look at our channel. We've got a bit up there. And hopefully we can help you in your myob journey. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.